Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me at Ryan Dome. My name's Ryan. Guys, before we start this episode off, I just want to say thank you. I just hit a thousand subscribers and that's pretty cool for me. So I just want to say thanks. And let's continue on with the episode. So in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to add de decals, which are a 2D image that can be added onto planes and stuff to make it um, have a little bit more feel to your atmosphere so you don't just have brick walls everywhere. Um, so you can add like grout coming from the ceiling, you can add signs, you could add um, brick textures, all this great stuff and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Um, so these down here, I have a whole bunch of different decals that I have and these will all be found on my website. It'll just be a giant decal download button where you can get all of these um, assets. Even the 1,000 subscriber one, I'm including that. Woohoo! Uh, but yeah, you can use all these. Use them as wherever you want in your game. They're really cool and free and shaw. Now I'm going to show you guys how to implement them into your scene. So what you can do is go game object, 3D object, plane. You're going to spawn a plane into your world. I'm just going to center this so it's easier for me to see it. And I'm going to bring this over. Now I'm going to align the center of the plane against the wall and rotate it 90. Oh, not there. I'm going to rotate it negative 90, I believe. Is that accurate? No. Sorry, 90 was correct on that. Not negative 90, I believe. Yeah, all right. So we have that, and I'm going to shrink this down like so and you're just going to bring it back against the wall until it kind of disappears and then you'll pull it forward just a tad like so alright so now that you have your plane on the wall um, you gotta go to your materials or wherever you keep your materials and create a new material and name this whatever you want decal I'm gonna name mine once you created a decal material, you're going to click on it and go up in your inspector window. Some of you guys were having trouble. If your inspector window looks like this, just click on it and it will pop down a little menu like this. Then go to shaders and click on uh, the diffuse button. Go all the way down to transparent and click diffuse. Just like that. And it should look like base RGB trans A. Now you're gonna just click on your textures and make sure you have e the texture that you want to use. I am going to use this blood splat. So I'm going to use that. And I'm going to take now the decal and drag it onto my, my plane. Just drag it right on there. You can see if it's on the wall, it's gonna make a giant wall decal. But on the plane, it just goes like that. And it looks a little squished for me, so I'm going to now take the decal and stretch it out a bit like so. And yeah, that that looks good. I like that. Looks like blood on the wall, which is gross. Alright. So let's say, oh, okay, Ryan, I don't like the decals that you have. I want to make my own. It's really simple to make your own. All you have to do is find something, uh, a picture online, take it into Photoshop or any editing tool, um, make the background transparent, save it um, as a JPEG or whatever. Usually JPEG's the best, or yeah, JPEG's probably the best. And you're going to just drag it into your Unity and voila, you can use it. Just create a material, remember transparent diffuse, apply it to your plane, and boom, you got like stuff that you can put on the walls. So that's it, guys. That's all the time I have for today. Just again, thank you guys for the 1,000 subscribers. It's pretty cool. Um, if you like this episode, make sure you leave a like. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.